Hi, physiology students, and welcome to Human Physiology this fall 2021 online semester. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Bamer. I'll be your instructor this fall. Um, I've been teaching at LBCC for almost four or five years now. I can't remember. Um, this is my third or fourth semester teaching physiology. Um, I have an anatomy and physiology background. Um, I'm really passionate about the subject, and I'm also passionate about helping you guys learn not only this material to get a good grade, but to learn the material for your future careers, because I know most of you are probably trying to get into nursing or other healthcare related careers. Um, this class will be fast paced, it'll be difficult, um, but I will be here for you. And this short welcome video, I'll try to keep it short, is just going to take us through a couple um, of important pieces of information from the syllabus in Canvas, and we will go over this again um, in our first class together. So when you open Canvas, this will be your home screen, and hopefully you clicked on my picture to get to this welcome video message. Uh, the dates of our class start August 30th, and they end on a Saturday, December 18th. Here's a link to the syllabus, which we'll go over briefly, but we'll probably go over more in class. Um, the important things I want to point out, though, is that our class style is live synchronous, uh, but these will be recorded in non-mandatory mandatory classes. And this is the Zoom link to get to these. These will be Tuesday and Thursday nights, 630. Um, there might be some weeks where we only meet on Tuesdays or some meets, weeks when we only meet on Thursdays, but I will um, always record these classes for you. Feel free to come. Um, these recorded classes, I still want to respect your privacy, so if you could keep your microphones and cameras turned off and just ask me questions via the chat. Um, the link that I will share with you will be an unlisted private link that only you guys will have access to, so these recordings are not uh, public domain by any means. Uh, my email, I will respond within 24 hours, and I'm also holding office hours on Thursday mornings at 11.30 or by appointment if that time doesn't work for you, because I know a lot of you are taking this evening class, so you probably work during the day. Um, so let me know if there's another time um, and we can set up a time to meet. Then the, there are links for the important icon, which takes you um, to the important information module, which we'll go over next. And then we divide the class, or I will divide your class into four modules, and each module will take about one month to get through. And each module will take uh, contain all the lecture and lab information for that module. Really simply put, each module will contain a lecture exam, um, a lab exam, a lecture quiz, a lab quiz, um, lab assignments. Um, there will also be some assignments from My Lab and Mastering. So you'll want to be sure to get the My Lab and Mastering access code, which will not only give you access to the online textbook, but all, also uh, the online practice homework help, um, as well as the Physio X labs, which is partly how we'll be doing labs this semester. Um, so again, I will go over this a lot more in detail at our first class on Tuesday, but I just wanted to use this welcome video to make sure we're all in the right place to welcome you guys to the class and that I'm really excited to have you here. Let's take a look at the important or uh, information module and everything in here underneath, there'll be three real easy uh, assignments to do are all due by Sunday night, uh, September 5th. So all of our weeks will start on Monday and end on Sunday at midnight. So just get that in your head that all your assignments, all tests, quizzes, exams, everything, it will always be due on a Sunday night, except uh, the semester ends on a Saturday. So your final exam and final assignments will be due on a Saturday, December 18th at midnight. So we have a syllabus and welcome video quiz. Um, one thing that I failed to mention that I bring up in this quiz is right now, you guys are probably located in maybe many different parts of Southern California. I'm actually located outside of the state, outside of the country. Um, and I'm coming to you from Quito, Ecuador, where my family recently relocated here. Um, and I've still been able to teach online, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, the Who Am I discussion, I use this discussion to see who has logged into Canvas uh, because there's a lot of people who want your spot. So if I don't see you've logged in and completed this assignment by September 5th, I'm probably going to give your spot uh, to someone else who wants to be here. And then here's a proctorial practice quiz. So we'll take all of our quizzes, exams, any um, kind of uh, assignment that you'll be tested on, not a lab report or anything like that. Um, they will be done using Proctoria, which is an artificial intelligence system. Um, so you'll need a webcam and you'll also need to download the Proctorio extension using Google Chrome. Um, Proctorio will record your screen and record your face. 
Proctorio doesn't save this information. I usually don't even look at the information. I will only look at your video recording of a tester exam if Proctorio flags you for leaving the screen, for looking away from the screen. Um, your screens will be locked so you can't open up another page, but it's really if you're looking down at your phone. Um, so otherwise, I never look at these um, unless Proctorio gives me a reason to. So I made a little Proctorio practice quiz to make sure we can all use Proctorio well. So feel free to do that. Here's the Zoom link for lecture and lab, Tuesday and Thursday night, 6.30 to 8, um, maybe 6.30 to 7.30. In these live environments, um, I'll briefly introduce some of the material in the lecture PowerPoints, um, as well as introduce the labs. Um, these will be recorded. And again, um, that my our YouTube channel link, which will be um, unlisted in private, I will post that under this important information too. Um, I am gonna pull up the physiology workshops page. Uh, you need to complete three by December 18th. They're worth about 10 points each. And physiology workshops are a great resource, resource that LBCC offers you. It's like an extra, um, guided student session on a difficult topic of physiology. So for example, when we get to action potential in the nervous system, um, you're going to be learning about, about 10 different ideas in the chapter that talks about action potential. But there's a workshop just on action potential, and it will help you understand that concept. Same with muscle contraction, hormones, um, so these workshops are really helpful. You go to a live Zoom session, you watch a pre-recorded video, um, you fill out a handout, and then you submit it to the MDSC, the Multidisciplinary Success Center, which has um, resources on campus right now in person. So if you're interested in that, I'll share those with you as well. Um, you submit it to them, they keep track of the workshop you completed, and then at the end of the semester, they let me know which workshops you went to. Um, so you need to do three of those, and I'll be giving you guys more reminders for that. Uh, so let's go back to your modules, and let's head back to your homepage. So again, when you go into Canvas, this will always be the home screen. So hopefully from here, you'll always know where to go. You'll have the syllabus, you'll know the dates of the class, and you'll have the link to our Zoom classes and my office hours and my email right when you look in Canvas. Another really important page in Canvas to watch is the announcement section, um, because I often post important things in announcements. Um, and we're going to go to module one now. So again, I divide the modules into four modules. Um, I haven't completed everything exactly in your modules yet, uh, but the modules will have the dates listed in them. I'll always have the workshop handout at the top to remind you to go to these workshops because there will be a live schedule. Um, and you can pick workshops to go to throughout the semester. And I think they will start in a couple of weeks here. Um, I will then post all the lecture PowerPoints. I'll post review questions. I'll have lecture quizzes. I'll have maybe extra resources. Like this is a great protein synthesis YouTube video. Um, and then I'll have the labs, which will either be done in Lapster, which is like a video game simulation. Um, they take sometimes a couple hours to complete. So just keep that in mind. Um, your labs are always worth 10 points, whether it's completing a simulation or submitting a lab report. There will always be a case study, which is usually a directed physiology topic related to human health. In those case studies, um, you need to create a response, include a citation, and then respond to two classmates. Um, so those are some of the basic basics. Um, I'll pull up the syllabus and then again, I don't want to get too ahead of myself because I want to keep this short, but feel free to read through the syllabus before you come to class um, on Tuesday night because we'll be going over it a little more in detail there. Um, take a look at our course structure policy, um, what will be included. Um, the big thing that you'll be needed for a required course material is this anatomy and physiology seventh edition. You can register through that through the My Lab and Mastering link in the left hand screen. Um, or see this uh, page and how to register for my lab and mastering uh, because you will need the access code which gives you access to the online textbook as well as access to the physio x labs which is what we'll be doing some of our lab reports in uh, you need 90 percent two for an a 80 for a b 70 for a c here's kind of a brief overview of our assigned work this is a they might be a little subject to change but overall We'll have about 850 points, and this is how we make up the points, 20 points from doing the activities in the introductory module. Each lecture exam is worth 100 points, even though they might not all have 100 questions. Um, about 80 points for lecture and lab quizzes, 
120 points for your four case study discussion posts. You get 10 points for your initial post and then 10 points for each reply post that need to be more than just, I agree with you or good job. And I will provide rubrics for those as well in those case studies. You'll have two lab exams, excuse me. Um, so you'll have kind of one in the middle of the semester at midterm and then one at the end. Uh, 10 lab reports due, one for each lab. The supplemental instruction are the workshops, three at 10 apiece. Um, and then your final lecture exam will be cumulative. So just keep that in mind as you're studying and taking all this information. So I'll let you guys read through a little bit more of the syllabus and we'll go over it more in our first class. Take a look at the basic needs, the student body statement, LBG, LGBTQ statement, academic integrity. Since we're using Proctorio, I'm hoping to avoid a lot of cheating issues. And again, I'm using Proctorio, not for my sake, but mainly for your sake, so you guys learn this information. Um, you got this far to physiology and everything you learn in this class, you most likely will use in your future careers or use to study uh, for your nursing boards. Uh, the laboratory procedures will be using PhysioX, which is part of the My Lab and Mastering by Pearson. Um, and that I will provide more instructions with as we get closer. And we'll also be using the Labster Lab simulations. Student services, the schedule is kind of subject to change, um, but mostly we'll stick to this schedule. The lab dates or the lab due dates for some of the labs might be a little off of each specific module. And the last thing I wanted to note, if, if you are a DSPS student, um, to let the DSPS office know right away, and then they'll contact me if you need extra time for taking exams. So please, please, if you're a DSPS student, um, let the uh, DSPS office know and they'll let me know. Thanks for watching the welcome video, guys. We'll see you on Tuesday night. And if I don't see you Tuesday, um, look for that recording when I'll go over this in a little more detail and we'll start uh, chapter one. So take care, everybody. Thanks for listening.